hi welcome back guys this is Samuel Lafemi Matthew today I'll be showing you how to compile your books to compile your work your content into a book now you don't need a graphic designer to help you compile your work to help you format your work if you don't have the money to pay the graphic designer for a good job for a quality job you don't there's a free site for it so i'll be showing you that free site it helps you compile your work it helps you bring out the work in pdf format and compile it and just like amazon but this is very easy and i love it so that's what i'm sharing with you and i think you will love it too so now let's go straight to it now the name of the site is readc.com so when you go to readc.com this readc.com r e e d s y dot com so when you get here you just log in you log you sign up if you've not registered before you can sign up with facebook or you sign up with, with google but i've already registered before so i'll just log in let me log in right now i'll log in with my facebook now i just logged into my workbook now do, 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 do. so now after logging to my my profile i come here you can edit your profile you can do everything but make sure you select the author's account don't select the business account select the author's account that's the only way you can work with you can use it to compile your book come in as an author not as a professional come in as an author in the registration section make sure you sign in with an author's account you can see my name that and i have an author's account so now you, when you come to this place now you go to the my books go to my books so these are just what i used to test it i use beyond the pressure but that's not what i use in designing the app the book sorry because I tested it with it so now let's say you have a new book you just have to come here and uh, come in come in my books enter a new book title let's say the book I've been using it's kisses to mom kisses to mom I just typed in the title of your book type in the title of your book then you press addition now you can see it now kisses to mom is now you click on the button right just click on right click on right when you click on right it will load up now you see these three icons at the top click on there now this is the front matter the copyright section you put in your pen name the edition the year the ISBN number the publisher's name you can use our company as your publisher Samuel Mobile investments I'll send the logo to you. You can put the logo here. So when it comes to the copyright table of content, you put in your table of content, you edit it. So now, now the body, you can see, you come in. This is the chapter one. This is the body. So now I go to chapter one. I paste it here. So all you have to do is type in your chapter title. The chapter title now you type in, let's say. knowing my mom 
that's the chapter title then you paste the work here just paste it you copy it from the writers plus after editing it then you paste it here can you see it so that's just it paste it here you arrange it better give it the spacing you need you can see I'm giving it the spacing you can do that for all the whole work then you move now Okay, let's add a new chapter. You can see this is where you add a new chapter. Come in, excuse me. Add a new chapter. Click on the chapter. You can see the way I cycled. That's why you click on the chapter to add. Then you add a new chapter. You keep on adding chapters we need 10 chapters depending on your chapters sorry I just clicked on reads you know so sorry about that so I need 10 chapters I need 10 and I have I have seven now eight So you do the same thing. You do the same thing. You come to ch chapter one. You write the chapter title, paste it. You come to chapter two. Chapter title. Then you paste the work. Remember, you copy your work, the chapters, and you paste it here. That's how you do for all the chapters till you get to chapter ten. After doing that, you can now close the body by clicking on the body. Click on that. You can now close it. After doing it for all the chapters, and you've also done your copyright, your table of contents, you've also done your forward, you can add a part to it. You can see, let me go back. Click on edit. When you click on edit, you can add your forward dedication, forward preface acknowledgement. Then you say done. You click on done. You can see it, I've added the pages to it.
then i'll just go there the same way i did my chapter one i'll add my dedication to it write your dedication here i'll add my copyright to it i'll add my forward after you click on anyone you want to edit you click on it this way then you click on if you click on it here then you come here and click on it again i click on acknowledgement i click on acknowledgement here i come back here i click on forward here i click on forward here that's how it works so after you've done everything let's say from your forward from your pre preambles that's the pre pre preliminary pages then you go to your body and do your body after finishing with your body then let's say you've done you're done with all the book let's say you're done with all the book all you have to do all you have to do is come to this place this place here yeah. click on the three button there then you click on export when you click on export when you click on export it will ask you to convert it to pdf then you select pdf select this one no don't select the epoch select pdf select the print on pdf selected leave leave the template this is the template you are using you can either use template one template two template three just leave the template now all you have to do is click on export book click on export book your book is being typeset you will receive an image shortly with a link to download your fully formatted file they will send it to your mail the mail you registered with that's all that's all about using this app to format your book that's all they will send the book to you the link to download it you download your book as pdf the book might be ready let me see let's go back you can see it's pending the old book is pending if you come back here let's say now i give you like one hour two hours three hours if i come back to this same page this book will not be showing pending it will be ready i can actually download it from this place so see that you, you they send it to your mail they will actually send it to your mail but you can still download it from this page here after it stops showing pending so that's all about using this the read c.com to format your book let me know if you have questions you can drop it on the comment section or on the group chat let me know if you have questions on how to use this play the app the website and i will help you out thank you very much for watching